Hello friends, this is Pranesh Kumar Misra. Today, I have to tell you that what is the use of the linkers. Though, it is nothing new and oh, every one of you has used linkers here or somewhere. I have a collection. I have a collection of um, about 11 categories that I have categorized so that you can learn it easily. These linkers, conjunctions or connectors all the same, you can master it with the help of this category. This category what I have made for you will be very helpful or will work like a brain mapping to learn for you. So listen carefully. Category number one. Linkers of addition, that is and, linkers of addition plus and, moreover, as well as, furthermore, also in addition, besides, not only, but also. This is a longer one, so let me use it. He is not only an idol, but full also, not only, but also. Next category is contrast, Virodha was in Hindi, opposition, contrast. So, in contrast, I have collected but... Whereas, yet, while, still, nevertheless, however, on the contrary. So, nevertheless may be new for you, means to be, here be. Cause and result showing connectors are as, so, because, therefore, for, consequently, means as a result, and since, because of. Next category is time. Very interesting, listen carefully. Time. In time category, linkers or connectors are when, after, as soon as, as, till or until, no sooner than, while, since, hardly, when, before, whenever, as long as. Next category I have made purpose or purpose, that, so that, in order to, in case. Next category is comparison. You use these two, three connectors or linkers when you compare. What are they? As dot 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 as. He is as taller as like this. Or not so as. Or than. Better than like this. Then condition. The connectors or linkers showing condition. If, unless, provided since next is it alliterative choices when you alternate any choice like or either or either you will come or i will come like this either or neither nor and next is particularizing something namely or notably or for example in fact or for instance, enumeration. In enumeration, what you can say? Firstly, secondly, finally, means all related to number. And the last one is summation, to conclusion, or to conclude, to sum up, I have to say that. So whenever you use these linkers listening again and again, that will be very useful for you to use it. Now, one thing more for you that is story writing. Story writing is there in CBSE class 10. So how to start, how to treat this question story writing. In order to write a story keep the following points in mind. I have collected some points that I will read for your help. Please mind it. You can grasp 10 marks with the help of these points. First, create the outline of the story, plot of the story, the starting, the turning point, the climax, the anticlimax, and the end of the story, the plot of the story in your mind. Setting of the story, time and place setting is very important for a story. Then characters for the story. When you select the setting and theme, then you have to develop the character. Then problem. There must be a problem in a story so that you can solve the problem. 
you always see that there is problem in Ramayana, there is problem in Mahabharat and that is solved. That's why it is interesting. So there must be a problem, mind it. There must be a problem, especially CBSC class 10 students. There must be a problem in the story and there must be a solution of that uh, problem. And don't make the problem too much complex so that the hero or main character protagonist cannot solve. And next one is solution is required and then reaction. Uh, reaction would be how the characters feel once the problem has been solved. This would generally be the conclusion of the story also. Avoid. What to avoid? Avoid repetition of incidents and words again and again that often our students do. Do not stretch one point too far so that the reader will be entangled in one point only longer. Keep the story moving. The story as I told you that in a story there must be the starting, the struggle, the climax, the anticlimax and the solution of course. Keep in mind the grammatical accuracy that is always needed and correct spellings which are very essential. Avoid the use of slang language and too many dialogues. One person is speaking too much dialogue will be boring for a short, short story that you have to write for only 10 marks. Use sequence markers to keep the plot cohesive. Means there must be a life in the story, stream consciousness in the story. And once the story starts, how it moves and the development this would be interesting and plot according to plot and theme that should move the incident of the story. So that readers would get mental satisfaction. Next is give the story a suitable title because title will attract to read the story. So you may be asked to write the story like this. Complete the following story. Nilima was getting late for work. She had grabbed her bag from the chair and was rushing towards the door when and you will be left here to develop further situation may be given like this also write a story that illustrates the proverb the proverb may be given for you better late than never now you have to develop the theme the characters and then you have to develop a problem and its solution the start the a struggle, the climax, the anticlimax, and end of the story that is very precise and short. So, this type of questions may be asked for you. This is story writing. If you keep these points, my students, CBSE class 10, then story writing may be a fun for you. You can enjoy it and get the marks. Mind your correction, use of tense, voice, and V123 while writing. Thank you.